I'm just about to head out on my Rebel 500 here. Um, today I just want to really talk about why I made the decision to get this Rebel as my first bigger bike. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so why I got my Rebel. First of all, this is the 2018 500 ABS uh, Rebel 500. I've put 20,000 miles on it since I had it. I bought it as an X demo. So yeah, the story about how I and why I decided to buy her. I've been sort of eyeing her up. <laughs> I've been eyeing up the Rebel for a little while before I bought it, like I'd say a year or so, maybe more. At this point I was still on like a 125, not because I didn't have my license, did have my license but uh, I was living abroad in China and really 125 is about the only thing you can get there and also I knew that I'd ultimately end up leaving there I wasn't there forever oh, of course I'll be quiet for now Yes, yeah, so I was living abroad. Uh, I'd, I'd got my license when I visited home like 18 months before I left China for good. So I already had my license. But because, you know, there's no point plowing money into a bike when I know I'm going to have to leave it there, sell it and lose money. So, um, yeah, I'd been riding around on a 125 for like five years, which is like the equivalent of doing your CPT three times. And I decided. It wasn't really a decision, it was just an if I move back to the UK, now I have my license. I had quite not that you need a full license for a Rebel, you need an A2, but I did my uh, direct access course, um, just got a full license. But I was looking online and I saw like the Honda Rebels, at this point they were new, they've just sort of been reintroduced as the 300 and 500s. Uh, and I was looking on like the Honda website and stuff. Their adverts do feature like this long haired guy on it. So I guess you can figure out it's not the biggest bike in the world from those pictures and videos. And that's what I wanted. Because even though I'd ridden a 650 to do my um, modules on and get my license, that was uh, maybe like a year before I started looking at the Rebel, maybe six months before I started looking at the Rebel. And um, I've been on, stuck on a 125 since then. And I thought it would be silly to go crazy and um, get a bigger bike. I wanted like a little step up from this 125. To be honest, when I was looking at the bike, at like the Rebel online, the thing that I just love was the appearance. I know a lot of people say it's ugly. I don't get that. I think it's really cool. <laughs> But I liked it because it looked like a cruiser without the weight of the cruiser and without the power which suited me. I'm not some boy racer, I don't think I ever will be. Yeah, so I thought the 500 was okay. And I'll be honest, like at this point when I was looking at them online, I didn't have much knowledge or experience of bikes at all. I don't think I looked at horsepower or anything like that. I just liked the look of the Rebel, I knew it wasn't a crazy Harley, also it was pretty affordable compared to other bigger bikes and I thought really that's the one for me and then I moved back to the UK I moved back in a at the end of January very end of January and by February I was already like pining for a bike I thought I'd last longer than I would before I started looking at bikes to sell yeah so I started I remember the rebel obviously uh, so I started looking for those obviously most of them are brand new because they only started in 2018 um and this is 2019 january when i moved back so i started looking for rebel so they were all kind of new no second hand ones out yet and i was fed up with just looking i just wanted one and i was on my way back home from work in cardiff i was pulled over into mega services as i did sometimes and I had these Honda Rebel adverts saved, bookmarked. And uh, yeah, I just started calling them back to see if they were still available. One or two of them, they weren't available. Um, and one sort of like had to get back to me, I think. And then they did before I even left the services and it was available. Uh, so I arranged like a test ride that weekend. I went down to Yeovil where it was. I was so nervous 
about to test ride this it was an X demo but you know to me it's pretty much brand new this brand new bike and I hadn't like been on a bigger bike for 18 months two years by them I'll be honest with you the last like six months a year in China I was on a scooter as well as twist and go so I was all a little bit wary and I didn't have any gear because I didn't know that 100% that I was going to end up with the bike you know I've, obviously I'm not going to buy the gear before I got the bike I borrowed a helmet from them because they're a training school as well so they did have helmets and gloves and stuff available and I test rode it I remember uh, bombing it up this uh, dual carriageway and compared to like a 125 it was so responsive I just absolutely fell in love with it I was like I definitely want a Rebel definitely yeah, so test rate. I remember getting lost as well. My sense of direction isn't the greatest. I don't know Yeovil at all. They gave me like um, a planned little circuit I could do, but that means nothing when you're actually on the bike looking for these junctions and stuff. They don't to me anyway. So, And I just knew that I wanted it. But I was obviously... It's the most money I've spent on a bike. Because <laughs> obviously before that it was just 125s. And there's just that feeling that it's not an, it's not an essential item, is it? I might disagree with that now but at the time it wasn't essential I had a car and stuff didn't need a bike I was still very much finding my feet in the UK this was in April now I think um, so I'd only been in the UK for like three months less than that maybe I was working but it was sort of like temporary stuff as and when so I wasn't in the most secure financial place so I remember just like biding my time, I was going to say wasting time, but no. Biding my time at the dealership, trying to figure out what I want to do. I checked out like their riding gear and stuff. <laughs> and eventually I just thought, yes, I want it. I want a bike. This is the bike I've been looking at for like probably more than a year. It's got a decent amount of power, but it's not mental. Like it's a manageable step up from 125 looks cool it's the next demo so uh it was really the best deal i was gonna find it's the closest thing to a brand new bike without paying brand new bike prices so yeah that's pretty much how i ended up with the rebel i haven't got rid of her even though i have now got a gs as well but i decided not to get rid of the rebel because I love her too much <laughs> But also, in all honesty, this Rebel wouldn't have got me much against another bike if the dealership would have accepted her at all. She's been beaten about a bit. She's got 20,000 miles on her, you know, and it's, she's a budget bike. <laughs> so, like, she means more to me. She's more valuable to me than she would be in money. So, I decided to keep her. Look at that view. I love Birnbeck Pier. It burned down. I don't know when. So, yeah, I've kept the bike because, yeah. I wouldn't get much for her in cash or against another bike. There's another amazing thing about the Rebel, like it's just, it seems bomb proof. I feel like I could leave it for as long as I have to come back and she'll probably still start. I know that's just a feeling. I think the longest I've left her is, um, is about three weeks, which isn't that long, is it? But yeah, she still started up first time. You would never have known that I hadn't ridden her for three weeks. But yeah, so that is why I bought the Rebel. got me my Honda Rebel 500 it's a good step up from 125 uh, and it helps you build plenty of confidence so you can get something a little bit bigger um, soon enough so yeah hope you enjoy